So for this trip, we decided to check out Portland, Oregon. On the train? Yeah. We're riding the Max. Just checked into our room. We're staying at the uh, Dossier. And we got a free upgrade. The Dossier is located in a perfect location, close to dozens of restaurants and breweries. Just got into Portland. We're supposed to be going to Vancouver, but that didn't work out, so plan B was Portland. So the front desk guy at the hotel recommended we try the Deschutes Brewery and Restaurant. I'm gonna try out the Cloudy and Rowdy Double IPA. It's a 7.9 beer. So we ordered the Blue Bacon Porter Burger. And man, was it good. After dinner, we hit up a couple of breweries and called it a night. Just got out of the shower. Let's get dressed. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna go check out Washington Park. We're supposed to be going the tram but I think it's closed today because today's President's Day it's a holiday so yeah. go check out Cheryl's on 12 the lady at the hotel said to uh that was one of the better places to eat change of plans came to Starbucks instead it was about a one hour wait at the place we're going to so Just got into Washington Park. Probably one of the coolest things you can do in Portland is visit Washington Park. It's about a 15 minute light rail ride from downtown Portland. Inside the park, you'll find the Oregon Zoo, World Forestry Center, Portland Children's Museum, Japanese garden and tons of other attractions. Probably one of the coolest things about Washington Park is getting there. You can catch an Uber ride or drive there, but the best way to see it is by simply taking the light rail. So you arrive through a tunnel that's 260 feet deep, and it's actually the deepest transit station in North America, believe it or not. Beer, beer, and more beer. It's not five o'clock yet, but it's close enough. If you're into beer, come here. A lot of breweries in Portland, Oregon. We checked out two last night. We're gonna go check out another one right now, and maybe another one after that. What's the one that we're going to here in Yonkel? Uh, beer o'clock. Beer o'clock, not beer. five o'clock, but beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Got the uh, cherry sour. I know what you think. Good. I like it. You can taste yes. the cherry. It's pretty good. And it's sour, but not like, uh, not like too tart. The Dossier is a four-star hotel located right in the middle of downtown Portland. Rates run from 150 to 180 a night. The hotel also has a really nice restaurant and bar located inside. So later that day we went out for dinner and after that we checked out this place, S'mores Company, which is a gourmet s'mores bar made to order. Pretty good little breakfast spot. Cheryl's on, Cheryl's on 12th. Now we're headed to the tram, which I think was closed yesterday. But first, we're making a little pit stop. Blue Star. Blue Star Donuts. So a lot of people think of, a lot of, I guess uh, Portland is known for voodoo donuts, but uh, I think the natives go here from what I hear. It's supposed to be better. And uh, 
it's not a tourist trap like Voodoo Donuts, so we're not going there today. So Blue Star has eight locations here in Portland, three in LA. Like I said, it's an alternative to Voodoo Donuts, but uh, I don't know, I wasn't too impressed by the donuts. They're just blah, they're kind of, they're not your typical donut. It almost seems like a healthier alternative, but uh, nothing special, right? Yeah, so you definitely tell that, or they don't taste fried. They're, they're yes. not fried, yeah, that's that's the difference, but uh, eh, wasn't too impressed. So this is the hotel that we're staying at. I'm gonna be heading over this way. That's where the tram is at. So Portland has a light rail system. Super easy to get around. It takes about 20, 30 minutes to get just about anywhere in the city. 